judges, quote, after this case, elections in Ghana will not be the same, unquote. In other words, we might not have been given the ruling we sought, yes. but thanks to our efforts, we can hopefully look forward to an improved electoral process in our country. I'm grateful to my co-petitioners, the National Chairman Joe Kobecha Bilamte, my running mate, Dr. Mohamedou Baboumiya, for their hard work, dedication, and commitment as we pursued the legal options available to us. My gratitude also goes to the lawyers and the technical team for their unbelievable hard work and sacrifices. I'm grateful to all the volunteers who spent days and nights working on pink sheets, entering data, photocopying documents, and labeling exhibits for the petition. I am grateful to all the well-wishers for their prayers. I must also thank my party, the NPP, officials, the foot soldiers and supporters for their unflinching support and belief in me. The National Council of the Party, having taken the decision to go to court, has been unwavering in its support. I also want to thank my daughters and my wife, the beautiful Rebecca, for their love and extraordinary support. There have been friends who have made unbelievable sacrifices of time, energy, ideas, money, and a listening ear. I'm grateful to all of them. I'm sure there are many people wondering what I envisage for my political future. I intend to take some time out of the hurly-burly of politics, get some rest, reflect, and then announce whatever decision I come to in the not too distant future. In Ghana's 56 year history, this is the first time a presidential election petition of this kind has been filed through the courts. The whole world has watched us in wonder and admiration. Our reaction to this judgment will be watched keenly in Africa and beyond, and will set a precedent for generations to follow. It is now up to all of us Ghanaians to put the dispute behind us and come together to iron out our differences, ease the tensions amongst us, and come together to build our country. There are myriads of problems facing us as a, uh, as a people. <clears throat> this is the time for all of us to come together and work to find solutions to the challenges that confront our people. To my party, the NPP, I say we have a lot to be proud of. There are more than three years left in this political cycle to be a worthy opposition and also position ourselves for the battle of 2016. 